often on Fridays, but I happen to have an opportunity now. So I usually Fridays. Now. So usually um, Fridays. Just a second. Um, just a second. Mute. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. I try to keep my Twitch over in a corner so I can check on it if something happens. But it happened to have an issue with... I gotta remember to mute it. My apologies. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna do a speed run while... Uh, um, every... Just, I have the day off, basically. Um, usually I'm playing with friends during this time um, for some Dungeons the Dragons, but due to East, due to Thanksgiving, a lot of them are still kind of tired, don't really want to do the game right now, but that just means I gotta do a speedrun. So, yeah, let's do a speedrun. See how well we do, and as people pick up, feel free to just ask questions in the chat. All right, anyways, let's get to it. Three, two, one. All right. Get myself used to it. Just focus, focus, and we begin. Didn't set up the windows exactly perfectly, but I think I should still get a per fine stream going on. All right. Let's keep moving. Oh, that's a potion! So with a potion, you can just skip those guys because you already have enough mana. So, just keep moving. So yeah, I have 85 mana, which just means I can just keep going. Ooh. Oh yeah, so I shut off um, the delay after you're getting hit, so I gotta get used to that now. Will definitely make my runs faster, though. Whew. All right. Things every time I got to use something that I'm doing that's supposed to make it better in the future. All right, and once the loading screen appears, here we are. How did I get plus two seconds with me finding the potion? What did I do wrong? Probably should have just thrown a fireball at those. Alright, let's head up first. Well, that could be a sword, so we're gonna go for silver chests. Okay. Um, that would actually increase my magic power out, so that is worth it. I'll get used to that no delay. Don't get hit? Nah. Sure. Actually, no, I want to get dashed there before I do that one. Thank you, chicken. Glad to see you. But yeah, I always want to go up and to the left first for heirloom hunting. Um, just works with the heirlooms better. Alright, gotta move fast. Gotta move fast. I'm about to take some hits. Or not. Okay. Cool. Ooh. Yeah, just go on. Like that. Alright. So, I don't know if Lurks is a person that's actually watching my stream, or if that's just... Because they managed to know that my stream was going on before my stream actually began, so I'm starting to wonder if that's just one of the programs I don't realize the name is lurks for it. Hmm. Alright. Get myself some health. Alright, guess I can keep them up then. So yeah, one of the heirlooms has just a higher um, probability of being to the far left of the screen. We are. Don't need more metal. We're just gonna pop all that chest. All right. Well, I guess we're going to start heading right then. We'll start at the top and work our way down. I'm just not going to commit to that. Wait. Whoop. Right. I don't have. 
Flash. Alright, so there's a treasure chest up here I can grab real fast. Alright. Not gonna kill myself over that one. Peace. Hi. Gotta get really used to that. No delay damage. Still messing me up. I ended up knocking it out of the way. Oh well. Oof. I got a lot of gold for myself. Let's see. Glowing Ember is technically more damage, so let's go with that one. Alright. So I just do it this way. No, I do not want rain right now. I'm gonna pop up in this side. And I. Uh, how much gold? I should be able. Yep. Yep, I just find the XP now because the room, the weight is going to be valuable later on. And best way to get weight, best way to get um, experience is to be at low level. So, all right. Keep on the loose. down, and that's the only path. Alright, so we're going down. Down. Woo. Hey, we found an heirloom! Woo. Dash. The best heirloom to find first. Quality. Alright. That means we now dash our way through. Bop. Alright. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This spell isn't the best for this sort of fight. Oh, let's do it like that. Good. So the idea is that that will give me two attacks effectively on the enemies because the explosion at the end goes down to all of them. Right, well now I'm low on mana, low on health, that ain't good. I should be able to still do this. Oh. Oop. Get out of the way and just knock you into the water. It actually would have been faster if I didn't knock him out of the water. Hey, you're double goldfish, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for watching the stream, man. Alright. Again, anything you want to talk about, feel free to talk about. Even if it's not about this game. But I'm sure you're the one who would appreciate to talk about this game, so. Just, oh, just barely missed the jump. Alright, whatever. So I do um, do my timings at different times, like now is when I do the shawl. I know you wait till you get all the way in into the uh, manor. I just don't want to have to take my hand off the controls. All right. How's the game treating you today? Well, it just started and like, it's treating me okay. Like it's not kicking my butt or anything. Not, it's not making love or anything, it's just, doing its thing. Game is made, built on variants, and you get variants. Alright. I'm not even sure if it's should be waiting for the or petty change. Then again, game meat would be nice. Oop, not the direction I want to go. Alright. For it. Alright, oh, so I have the relic that deals the 75% damage every 5 hits. No, keeping track of the hits might actually be valuable, though. Yeah, next hit should. There it is. Alright, let's just go this way. Try and get to the next heirloom as best as I can. Just chest rooms. Alright.
Alright, we'll go with those up directions, I guess. Alright, take care of these staffins. Hey, buddy. Don't want to deal with you. Thank you for being considerate of that issue. That's just a teleport. So ignore that. There's no way the heirloom is in that small room, so we keep moving. Right? This is basically a free chest, if I do it right. Oop. There we are. And let's get ourselves some meat along the way. There we are. And we got the other heirloom. Awesome. Okay, sometimes your controls do that. Just part of being the game. Alright, got my next heirloom. Let's keep going. I guess the game really did give me a really nice start. It did give me a mana. Oh. Ron. Ron heirloom. Anyways, yeah, it gave me um, a mana potion in the intro, so if I was faster about it, I probably could have gone. Uh, better split for my introduction. Alright. Just gotta make my way up. Slowly but surely. But surely! Surely! Okay. Well, that wasn't the best, but oh well. I was hoping I wasn't in the boundaries yet, because if you're not in the boundaries, they... If you start your attack outside of the boundaries and then go into it, it doesn't count it, so... Use that a lot with the Barbarian if you start the Sween outside and then the Sween ends up going in. Doesn't matter. Alright. Do it the easy way. Got I was just hoping that that was going to recover in time. Alright. Moving. Alright. Oh. Nearly pressed the wrong button and didn't shut that off. That would have been sad. Typing and lying down. Alright, in bed. Probably mostly work. Yep, that's fine. Um, a lot of the people I know are still in like their food comas from Thanksgiving, so... Glad to have someone here. Anyways, I'm going to try to kill this without taking care of the Nightmare, because that would probably speed me up slightly. Alright. Well, thanks for um, watching either way. Oh, no my gosh, forgot to hit the timer. Oh well. Alright, where's the boss? Probably near the start. Okay. Uh, again, if you ever do wake up, feel free to just start chatting about literally anything. Um, yeah, until then, relax, man. Feel free to watch. I would be a jerk at say, <laughs> I'd show, well, let me show you how it's done, but I'm not that kind of person. I'm just glad there's a growing community for this game. Yeah, me too. Definitely think this is going to be a huge theme, especially when it gets, like, if it's already here, when the game's not even fully released yet, like gonna be great. Equip weight basically. ADQ 2021, here we come! Yeah! Crippling Intellect is one I like, but with White Star, I'm not so sure. But I'm not going. My setup does not help me for um, Ranger at all. Alright. Let's go Valkyrie. I still have enough for. Oh, Crippling Intellect is the one that recovers mana, not the one that doubles. I keep messing that one up. Crippling Intellect and the other... Oh my gosh. So, I'm not sure if you've seen this right now. I have Crippling Intellect, 
and I don't have enough mana to actually cast the spell. There, okay, yeah, sure, that was fine, death. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if I was gonna have enough money to switch to Valkyrie. All right. I'm gonna go with um, this over the Magic 8 Ball, because the Magic, or the Hero Complex just forces me to, um, you know, I have to get in one shot kind of thing. Right now, I only have one health buff. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it like that. Whew. Yeah, definitely should have. Like, that was the correct move in hindsight. Definitely should have gone with the Ranger and switched out. Right, I have the super jump. Got my leather weapon already. Nice. There's that place. And so, usually once I get to this point, I look for it. I look for the boss by going as far right as I possibly can. Because if I don't find the boss, I'll find Axis Mundi. And I could just get the other heirloom now. Well, I don't even need a kick off these. I could just jump. Got me some beats. It's nice. Now we get the heirloom. Or the inside. You know, sometimes I forget to take these insights. I just, like, I'm too busy on the roll or whatever. Besides, that one was probably one that can be skipped as we get better at this. All right. All right, it's just a chest, but it's an easy chest. Says the man who's going to die here. There we are. Sometimes just casting a spell to clear those out is nice. Alright. That's one left. Another big room, let's just head down then. All right, more treasure chests. Oh my gosh. I kind of like the traits that like mess with how you usually do your run. Makes it interesting. Make sure you're always on your toes. I guess I could have gone. No wait, that up was to the area that. Gotta make more use of this shield. Also, I was getting ready to dash after I bounced off of that. Scared when I didn't work. Alright. Keep it moving along. Ah, oh, my gosh. Oh. There we are. Ah, come on. Just go through Axis Monday, get myself my health recovery. This room might actually be a lot easier because I have the super jump. Not, I don't think it's enough, but I might as well check. It is enough. Dude, that was awesome. Just skip the outside run. Go all inside. All right. Next inside, and this is why I don't, I just put lame loom because I never know which heirloom or you know, I'm gonna get first. Oh, right. Gotta go over here. Just kick like mad. <sighs> Made a bit of a mistake, but that's fine. Here, you just... You can get that without hitting that ground there, so you can just right up. There we are. Get myself my healing back. Being a little too aggressive right now. Being way too aggressive right now. Yeah, I need to just calm down, focus on the game.
right, now we go back. Because we're doing the full percent. Alright, let's see where the room can be. All down here, basically. It's all down from here. Glod. I have no idea what Glod means. But I'm glad that you seem excited, whatever it is. Whew. Gold split. Oh! I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, there's definitely... I think the um, biggest split improvement is going to be with the second boss. Like, until you learn that boss, it messes you up. Alright, well, I don't... What was I doing with those chests? I'm literally just trying to find the boss, and there was no room here. I was paying attention. Oop. Come on. Alright, to the right we go. Or to the left, because this is easier, and it likely chance either way. Well, this wasn't it. Don't want that. Just... I feel okay with Barith, but getting to him is another story. Mm -hmm. Kind of depends, yeah. I have a warp to a Coleus shell. That's worthwhile. Get to him, maybe there... Yeah, with very little health. I think he deals like 64 points of damage. So, like, when you start the game he three shots you, and then if you're playing like a Valkyrie or something, that's two shots. also a thing. Is Lamech in that corner there? Lamech's not in the corner there. Well, I need to survive to get to the Aegis shell. I'm just gonna be needing that Aegis shell to make it to Lamech, it looks like. No, I'm not gonna go all the way down for the Aegis shell. That skeleton scared me. Reasonably so. Spooky, scary skeleton. There's Lamac. Scholar cake. Cool. So apparently, this thing can be popped open without the dash rune if you have gigantism. Just kind of funny. I'm gonna quickly grab that. Shell, Coleus shell, just so I have three shots, basically. Alright. Alright. Oh, you actually did that. Okay, yeah. That's pretty awesome. It's also like, it makes that, that theory of the low percent run kind of unreasonable, you know? <laughs> like, instead of getting the... Like, if it turns out you don't need that heirloom, like... Can you imagine this game without the ability to dash? Like, it seems like, like, all right, hold up. All right, there we are. Oh, daggers. All right, had to unlock. Oh, you just kicked between them. Not a good place for this, but if I could just find the spot to avoid. Alright. So I'd like to maybe a low percent no trait requirement. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I think that's just called any percent, but well I guess one li it's one life. Which is different than any percent. Yep. Gosh, what was the There's a game I think it's like a specific sort of um like a specific sort of speed run with um, Pokemon that, like, because of certain prerequisites, the game has, like, a low percent chance of completion of 3%. So, like, you have to reset 97 out of every 100 runs. I'm just like, yeah, no. And through. So no 
they're turning off the Isonomous room, which is a big thing. Oh yeah, you have to get the Echo Kick still, wouldn't you? Yeah, I, I don't think it is possible then. Thanks to um, the Echo Kick needing the room, and... Well, unless there's a way to get Echo Kick without um, Dash. There we are! Alright! Whew. Good. All right. And once S2 Area Defeated comes up is when I click that. So, we're ahead of schedule. And now we have the hard part. I'm terrible with names. So am I. That's why I call them Bone Boys. Second heirloom? Um, ki the Kick. Echo Kick, I think is the name of it. Or are you talking about the names one? Like, second heirloom in... All percents, or... Oh, spirit thing. There we are. Sorry, I didn't read the other text. My apologies. Oh. That... Yeah. Didn't read the other texts, but... Oh, hi! Hello there. You want to join the fight? Sure. Well, thank you. Oh, wait, do you need that to turn off the eyes? Do you actually need to talk? Huh. You know what? So the idea of this is that... Um... So the idea of this is that I'll be hopefully able to... Um, how do I explain it? I'll be able to get enough gold that I can just... Sorry. I'll get enough gold so that I can just buy the pizza girl. So this isn't going to be the one that beats the boss, obviously, but hopefully I can make this worthwhile anyways. We are. We have leather unity. That should be nice. I'm gonna switch over to barbarian, and I'm gonna buy this while I can. All right. So now I should have the shout available to me because I don't think the shout deals damage. All right. Okay. Can't teleport to access if you are That's what your job is. Why do you only have 120 health? I thought you were just a pacifist. Vitality. You can't attack or deal damage? Yeah, so where's the Why do you only have 120 health? Okay. Well that's new. I thought I had full health as a pacifist. But I know for a fact this character has more health than other characters. It's a barbarian. What's going on there? I wonder if it's just like a glitch because I changed him from Valkyrie. Yeah, I think I know what caused it. Um, because I was a Valkyrie, I exited the room, and then I fought the Barbarian. I can't shout! I can't shout. Yeah, I'm thinking of bug. Alright, well, we'll make sure to report it once we're done here. If you could get out of the way, sir, that'd be... Pr I would appreciate it. Well, it looks like we're not purchasing that teleport. Kind of hard to when you have five health as barbarian. Oh well, bugs happen. This is the pre. This is still in beta. Okay, body buffet. You can't. I don't care that you have two antiques. This is body buffet. This is body buffet. Oh well, a little time loss happens. 
So I'm going to unlock the academy now, just so that um, I can start increasing my mana later. But, okay, hold up. The Valkyrie has more than 120 health. Okay, that's a weird bug. Either that, or pacifism does not have defined extra low health. and just do your job. Well, got across them, one way or another. Whew. Not the intentional way, but that was a, an awesome way of doing it. All right, down or up? up. Thank you. Just down, I guess, now. All right. You know, if I could get this eight ball working, that could probably solve the damage issue. So I also think that this, um, the spin is broken for the Valkyrie, because you always get 10 mana for the um, reward, even no matter how heavy or light your armor is, I'm pretty sure. I have to check it. They might have changed it since last time I used it. I allowed myself to get above light armor, but I do know there was a time when I had medium armor. Yep, Valk is broken. Yep. Um, so, in case you weren't knowing, they already said that the Valkyrie um, spin, they're going to reduce how many projectiles can work against it. So, the... Um, the ones that normally take a... Um, what is it? Yeah, the spin off the jellyfish. That, um, they're going to remove that. That's why I'm saying. Thank you. Just... Words are hard sometimes, man. Words are hard. Oof. Thank you for the boost, I guess. This is a treasure chest room. And that was... That was a terrible way of doing that. But yeah, no, I understand why you'd be sad. It's... Great that you're able to do it. Emotional dysregularity. That's why I thought that previous one was. No, nope, we have body buffet. Let's go with a mage. Get myself some magic. Well, if it's no res so it's not that's no resonant projectiles. Um, they're defining it as um no projectiles larger than the character themselves. Um, but yeah, right now that ends up being two re the two char um examples they give are both resonant projectiles. The icicles after they become huge, as well as Nama's um, Yeah. So the mage is a bit slow as a class, but it's a strong class still. Um, oh, same for the cook? Yes. Yes, same for the cook. Yeah, no, it makes that, like, that fight becomes a lot more different when you don't have outs like that. Get this free treasure chest. Ooh, 
So I want to get to, um, there's a certain number I'm trying to get to. I think it's um, 500. At 500, I could purchase the um, purchase the pizza on my first walkthrough um, without needing to um, collect other other things along the way or head through. Like just on the first time I see it. Okay. Catalyst, sure. So I'm just gonna leave that there so I can get the mana. Five hundred? Yeah, something something around that number. Um, but if you get that much, you can buy the pizza girl um, at sun at the sun area. Um, after just walking through, like consistently, you can buy the pizza um, at the sun tower without having to do any grinding after you find it. So. Oh, this is an empty room otherwise. Yeah, it's 2,000, but you could find 1,500 quite consistently along the way to it. So. Yes, 500 from Citadel and then Axis Monday. I mean, I can get this, but yeah, I'm getting this. It's just suddenly. I'm. It's like, okay, I have a lot of ways to regain health. If I could not die due to my low health. Alright. Could we actually go right again? I'd appreciate that. I'd also appreciate actually hitting. I dashed, that was basically set in stone. Point crying over it. Burning HP just for opening it up. as a buffet, I just realized. I should be killing them more. Like, I chose it for the buffet, and then I just forgot. <laughs> Happens sometimes. There you are. Alright. Well, I'm at one-shot range, so I gotta make sure to make up for that. And, yeah, I definitely got more than enough gold, so if I can make it to the pizza girl, I should be able to purchase her by doing what I usually do. I was afraid he might um, jump while I was moving, so... Oh, let's just do that. Oh, hi. But yeah, basically when I'm talking about that, it's because you can get 1,500 from the chests quite easily. Which means, of course, you have to get all the chests. Which means getting consistent with these chests. Aw. Oh, that wasn't going to chase me until... Alright. Well, just recovery. Bone Boys is a long split where I have to figure things out. Valkyrie with Nod Bone. I don't think anything is close. And I get a lot of money that I could put into health to keep myself up till then. There we are. Alright. So, like, one of the things is that I gotta work on is like keeping my level of energy at a specific level um, too high and I panic or just get angry, you know, but too low, and I just take everything. Mm. 
That's something I'm better at. That was risky. And I actually want that gold, so. Also, if I can get me. Nope. with virus is two hours, so I need most improvement to it. Yeah. Nah. I understand. I think we all understand. You and Fenor needed practice. Alright. This me is really paying off. We'll get some gold as well. do that even though it's not much of an increase um i have not bone so if i need more health i could get there This one I'm at full health, I'm gonna take that. Yeah, once we improve that, oop, let's try it. Nope. I know how to do it, just always make one little mistake here or there. I should have enough money once I make it there. Yeah, the fact that these guys just aren't threats is pretty insane as a benefit to being a Valkyrie. Just get rid of that. I want to deal with it right now. Alright. I always suck with that one. Oh. Oh well. Missed one. I'll play it while I can. But yeah, I love the design concept of the bridge. Especially due to the fact that it becomes so much easier once you um, unlock the double jump. It's a lot easier for me. It doesn't, but I'm just saying so. And the room inside the small house is always a story room, from what I've gathered. Oop. All right, let's round the treasure. Hmm. As soon as I saw 
stop just a second before. Oh. So I don't really care about the tier 3 enemies because... Oh my god, I didn't get enough. This treasure chest mattered. Oh well. Alright, so for me, this game is already everything I want from an RL sequel. Yeah, no, honestly, like, even if all they do is just add a few more biomes that make the game longer, I'll be, like, super happy with this, the end result of this game. Yeah, the fact that there is at least three more areas to come, yeah, dude, dude, this game is going to be amazing. It's fully released. like we'll be getting the pizza girl unlocked at the end after I face or as I'm about to face the boss instead which means I have to not die on the way there which is quite the ask you know that might be one of the nerfs instead of um, dodging it properly removing the um, cooldown out entirely. Maybe if it just reduced the cooldown. I'm not going to do a don't get hit right now. Not why I'm at this low of health compared to my max. Brilliant, Ben. Brilliant. Alright, got to the number, but I think she's far enough away that I should do it this I should just get to the end. Probably should have just bounced off the ceiling. Ah, just a little too ahead. Oh yeah, if you... I, yeah, so what I think is like, this should be like a later game character that's more, um... Well then again, I was gonna say that's more high risk, high reward. And so, um... If you miss, I was gonna have the cooldown be a lot higher in return. Um, it still would work the same. But it's like, now that I think about it, like, there's a lot of room for more high-risk, high-reward characters. Like, this game... Well, then again, this game could have a dozen of them, and that'd still be pretty fine. Alright. So, rapid fire. Killing you just so you don't become a threat later. Alright. Weapon. But yeah, if it's just three overall, I think that would be fine. Um, definitely removes the... I don't know, the... Being skilled rewards you more is definitely a great feeling, but like, hmm. definitely probably rewards you too much right now. All right, so just jump on that head. There you are. Really appreciate if I got meat. I did get meat recently. Definitely appreciated that. Don't worry. Just you always need meat, especially when you have an odd bone. Oh, we're at the range where they don't get one shot. You go down to the BS. And I don't need that treasure chest, and I'm not going to risk for it. Alright. Oh, hi, Blobfish. You could have killed me. You know that, right? That's why you did it, isn't it? Whew. Made it. Whew. Yes, I am still buying that pizza girl just to be secure. Ah, don't have enough managers. 
clear through these quickly. Oh well. Alright. Get the So I noticed that this is damage versus Stygian mass, where these enemies the aren't called the Stygian mass. So I just find that a little funny. And I forgot to go to the sun, so I just have to do this. Okay. Oh well. Well, if I beat these Void Beasts, I am going to be way ahead. If I don't, well, we're in trouble. Oh well. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Thank you. Just hope they're not doing anything annoying and use that move as little as possible. I'm just gonna jump over that. Yeah, I, oh, I could have. I know what I could have done. Oh well. Didn't do it. Uh, trying to get above them. That was what I was gonna do. A bit of an oof, definitely, because I didn't get that stop. But this means I could just make this next character a lot more powerful. Yeah, let's get a Barbarian. I haven't played a Barbarian yet on this save file. Alright, max out damage. Bring that up, because that's what's useful in this fight. Here we are. Alright, so I'm going to heal 40% health. Everything should be good otherwise. Alright. Does mean I have to go back through Axis Mundy? Actually, because. Alright. Oh, right, I have Clumsy. Don't need to worry about Just that kind of focus and then I'll read that. So, you know how I said that I was going to lurk? I was going to lurk. Nearly midnight here. Going to try and sleep and lurk now, but I'll catch the bottom of your PB tomorrow morning. <laughs> Not sure if it's going to be a PV, but let's hope for it. Have a nice day, man. Yeah. Always nice to do that kind of damage. You know what? I'm going to try just don't buy the sun. Just because... It can um, allow me to get so much gold that I won't need the extra. Um, like, I could get so much damage output that I won't need the. Um, I won't need the reset. Right, clumsy. Clumsy, clumsy me. So, guess we're going all the way back and up. Bit of a detour, to say the least. And that might be the reason to go with the Sun Tower increase, because it's a huge detour. Or it can be, at least. Oh! Wow. Small world. Right. Yep, so the only path is down to the left. Great. Yo, what up? Me. 
Alright. Hey, we got out of there. Let's get a Hyperion's Ring. And let's continue back on the Bone Boys. See if I can get these close to that one hour mark. Oh, I. Right. Hold up, hold up. Clumsy messed me up. As it should, but still. Meat. Always appreciate the meat. Okay. enemies are not being nice to me. Alright, so here's the thing. When you're clumsy, you can just walk across these without any concern. That's always nice. That being said, you have to walk across them. If you land on the top end, you still get wrecked. I'm wondering if that thing, if that tree, um, has to do, sorry, if the health recovered has anything to do with your intelligence score, or mind, or whatever you want to call it, whichever you want to call it. Well, the only one watching right now being the lurker, which again, I, I'm starting to think that was just, that's just like a bot for my, to keep a track of my channel because they've been on my screens before I made it to view. But just freeze you. Alright. Still lining up to buy pizza, but well, Popsky's open right now. Yeah, let's let's stick with this. Let's try to instead of getting how do I say it? Instead of buying the um the location, just try to use the money to make myself stronger. Could work. Probably will work in the long run. Just until then, getting the P, it's gonna mess up my a P, a personal best run. Unless I start getting these guys one shot. Sayonara, big spiky boy. 
least I could just keep hitting this way. Don't even need to stop for it. Alright. Let's... Alright. Well, I'm not going to get the amount of steel needed before the end of the run, so... Oh, what the? I hit the attack button. It just didn't respond. Hmm. Okay. That was sad. Well, it'd be nice to get more recovery items here. All right. I was gonna say, what is this room? Because it just looks like an empty room except for that. Alright. Magnesis. Sure. I mean, it's not... It's a one that I could possibly equip, so... I guess it's fine. And we made it. Low health. Lost my Hyperion stream, but we'll, be, we'll do it. Alright. Okay, I think casting that spell makes it so that there's like a delay, and that delay is much more impactful than I thought. Like you will be, you might just be watching a PB tomorrow. Whew. Let's see how we do here. Just keep on going, keep on moving. Whew. Let's get a lot of money along the way. And let's unlock this to portal. I was going for. And I'm going to get a lot of upgrades as well. It looks like at this point I don't need upgrades. I need lilies and I'm going to need the fire shores. There you are. Break all of these. Don't even care about you. All right. Well, if I get the dash heirloom, I found one. So let's see. There's path. Keep, if I keep going right, so we keep going right. Do Hyperion's ring. It's good. Scary room. Really would appreciate 
activated. At least they connected back and threw me back up here where I need to be. Alright, looks good. We're going up. I was meant to go right, but I made a mistake, and now we're going up. Alright. Found the boss room. What is that? Where will the far shores be? Are you kidding me? It's down there. It's faster to teleport. <sighs> So it's down right and then we keep going. Magnesis. Alright, so there's a wolf when I open this door, so. Uh, that was at the base I was at. Didn't know where it was precisely located. What does that mean? Fire stars are even further to the left. Very unorthodox for the far shores. We did the important stuff. We did the important stuff. Good job, Abra. There's Koya's shell and gold increase. Let's go for it. Like that. Sure. Sorry if this visual is going to affect people, but... I wonder why the third air... Oh, because it's how big the split is, probably. anything. I accidentally hit too many buttons. the hassle being back up. Oh. Hi, Nightmare. Didn't even know you were there. Bounce 
surprised you are. That's what I was here for. Alright. Oh. Continue this. And we got double jumps. So usually they all, if you're in the center, they all have their attacks at once, but I wasn't in the center in time. Oh well. Let's go with Barbarian, I guess. Alright. Nothing to buy, nothing to buy. Okay. Well. I still have 30 minutes before this click comes to equal. And the thing is, so because of my um, Void Beast Barrett split, um, I have now brought the sum of my best segments below one hour. That is very hopeful for the future of this run. Sometimes happens. Sometimes happens 100% of the time. I think it's the worst. That was 127 damage. I mean, I knew those guys packed a punch, just. You forget how much a punch. So yeah, the platforming of this is not an issue. The fight of this is where I get stumped. Oh my gosh, I just realized I don't one-shot the enemies. I need a one-shot. I missed the damage I'm going to need by a few points. Like, look at that. Aggressive, but I think it was justified. There we are. Alright, 
Now comes the hard part. I'm not sure if I got lucky spawns or what, but that was a lot less threatening than I thought it was going to be. There we are. Cool. So yeah, I'm not sure if all of these are supposed to be breakable, because they sure haven't been breakable in the past. So let's just pop in, get ourselves this thing up here. I've had other ones where I've completely forgotten about this. Right. So let's head down there. All right. Found one lily. Yeah, the fact that I still need to find the lilies before I enter the boss fight makes this a bit more daunting. Oh, so some people just showed up. Hey, how's it going, guys? Feel free to text anything, any questions you have in chat. What's going on? Um, I'm doing a full um, all bosses, all heirlooms run of what is currently available in Rogue Legacy 2. And in the process, it seems like I'm getting a new personal best for doing this run. At least I'm on the rate for that. So, let's see, don't really need those right now. Let's head to the right now. Okay. All right. Let's head left, I think. Right, I remember this room. The room that I'm like, this is going to be a nightmare to get back through. What is it? Correct. Okay, let's head down here. Thanks. I'm glad to have that little love tap on the way out. Well, I found the boss room, but I still need to find one more flower before I can enter the room. So, just gotta kind of wander, find it. It should be... Path to the left is actually the most promising, which does have one issue, though, that I have to go through this room. And because I turned around... All right. Whatever, I got my Far Shores upgrade. I can double jump now. That's the important part. All right, OCD and Vertigo. So that's good money, Dean. I don't need money. I'm just trying to think, do I actually want to get Gigantism in this area? Sure, let's try it. All right, so what we learned from last time is that I still need more damage. Even just one more point is gonna be worth the, all the weight. So in case you're wondering, that trait, um, it deals, it's like an extra jump, and it also um, deals like poison damage to enemies nearby, so it is actually a pretty nice trait. Alright. I wonder. So if I do this... So I, could, I basically have one more jump for my spin kills. That's going to be nice. Alright, I need one more point to actually kill the guys. Good now. Alright, found one, Lily of the Valley. 
All right. So I have to recollect them each and every time, unfortunately, but it's okay. I can do it. Let's see, let's head right. So um, the thing is, with um, all the rooms I'm trying to find right now, um, going to the right, it, you are capable of finding each of the rooms. Um, there is some lily rooms that you can't enter from above, some that you can't enter from below, and you cannot enter the boss room from the left. So heading right basically guarantees an opportunity to get any of them. Well, it gives you an opportunity to get any of them. It doesn't guarantee you anything. It doesn't guarantee anything. Still bearings. are built out of groups of them. Because I've noticed patterns. Well, right, we'll just keep going right. We're gonna end up finding far shores at this rate. find the boss room. <sighs> Gigantism caused some pain. Alright. So, the only rule with the boss is that it's like a 4x4 four four, or a 2x2 two two room. Some, like, it's a big room. And it never, you can not enter it from the left side. You must enter it from one of the um, right sides. That was a good idea. And we made it. Okay, so now what happens is now that we offered the two lilies here, this room is always open. So we're always just finding this room, which is three by four seems to be its size. So it's a big room. All right, so it's always accepted. And we just need to beat Nama from here on. All we have left is to beat Nama.
Well, I'd one hit from death. Gigantism was a great idea getting into the area, but now that I'm here... Oh, hey! Okay, yeah, so the problem is that Explosion, while it does um, give you more distance and stuff like that, it still has the issue of um, it removes your... Um, talents, and you want a talent that's, you know, good for the fight. Let's buy something by the shops. Oh. Still no blueprints there. Probably the best right now. Let's buy Cassie Rune, I guess. Could have bought an Agnesis Ring, but oh well. I think capacity will pay off more in the, in the long run. So, there's that. Alright. Now we just have to find the boss. CIP, it's... You have to really just keep track, kind of, on your own. Um, with how much damage, when you're doing these runs, with how much damage you take, it... Really, you know what's going on. Like, you know how to close here to death. Um, you know, like, what I'm saying is when you only survive two attacks, anyways, it's a lot easier to know how much health you're at because you already got hit once. Or whatever. That was the clo earliest Far Shores I have ever seen. Imagine getting that for your first entrance into this area. Just immediately recover after facing the boss effectively. All right. Well, I guess that's... I forgot that you don't even see the damage output. But yeah, I'm, if that Aqua Brace hit me, I'd probably be dead. Well, it's not like my max health means anything anymore. I'm getting one shot by the boss. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess I'm not getting one shot by the boss. I'm getting two shot again. That means it should be. Alright. That was stupid of me. Oh well. So that bridge actually stops the thing from shooting. Not sure if it's intentional or not, but it's how it works. Uh, just being a little aggressive. My own fault. Don't worry, I have enough time. I can get a few more runs. Ambrosia and Coleus shell. Huh. You know what? If I'm having trouble right now, it might be a good idea to start. Um. Whew. Might be a good idea to start focusing on gold. Why is it so hard for me to say words sometimes? Something I get, get used to. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, like this gold shouldn't be that hard to get.
Okay, the fact that it's still taking three hits to kill is an issue. Uh. scary threat later on, but right now I need to find This isn't much money, so this kill better be hit, basically. But that was an unfortunate attack, but... Oh, I saw Coleus Shell, even. So I'm trying to get close to him while I do that because obviously the spin still hurts on Nama even if the goal was to stop projectiles. Oh my gosh, I was about to get a huge pe personal best, a huge personal best. <sighs> sure. That was about to be a huge personal best. Oh my gosh. Well, didn't get that, but I still have time. I can... Russian. Let's see. I could get two. I think I get two more shots at Nama if I want it, if I need it, and still gets my PB. All right. 
something's kind of pointing at I need a bit more damage. Honestly, if I get a leather trinket soon, like I'm getting all these upgrade things, I still don't think I get a leather trinket. If I can find that, I can maintain leather mastery while um, equipping like a warden or ammonite weapon, which could be what I need. Alright. walls and this was an idiot there all right whatever happens stopped a little early oh well Might as well buy this shit safe. Alright. Whew. Calm. Heart. Whew. Let's see, so I have 60 more minutes to get to this. Sometimes you find those trap rooms and you get wrecked. Let's see, a soon trap magma mass. I'll try a mage. Mage is not one of my strong suits. But yeah. Ooh. Hey, welcome to the stream. Um feel free to ask any questions you want, doesn't even have to be at the games. We are trying to do a all bosses and heirlooms run, and we just have the final boss left. It's just a matter of getting to them and actually doing the job. I got to it a few times, but I just kept barely missing the killing shot. Well, actually, that only happened once, but it feels like more than once when you. Ah. Alright. Still injures them. Awesome. Got nothing from it though. Oh, ow! That's something that needs to be worked on. Alright, so what rock does this have? Coleus shell. Hmm. Sure. The main issue I have with Coleus shell is that. I want it just before the boss fight, but I still need to find the boss each time, so. Alright. I have no way to attack Polo other than spamming that by. Okay, so two spells were enough. Alright. Closest way to the boss is to my right, so let's get to it. Alright. So it's been a bit of an issue right now. Oh, that's just us. Just let's head down then. So the boss room, it is impossible to find to your left going to the left. So basically, I'm always going to the right or up or something like that. Right. that these are actually some good rooms, because the room's supposed to be big, and so having a lot of space is a good sign. Okay, well, I'm about to get crushed. Okay, come on. Ooh. 
Alright, let's head down first. Check that out. Nope. Could be down there, but let's check with this fact first. Mm. Use my double jump. <sighs> so it can be a combination of those two doors, but... Alright, well, Chloe's shell's gone. Oh well. Let's see what this is. Nod bone. This is good. If I could find meat with bone buffet, I should be finding meat. But, well, I haven't been killing anything. That's my problem. And found the boss, so that was actually just a disadvantage. Alright, so I have a theme that I should um, increase my health once I enter the area. So I should be at full health in this fight. I do want to finish this before my PB time hits, so let's try it. So this spell, the Searing Shot, um, because it causes burning, it does the most damage over time. So I want to make sure there's always a burn effect on the boss, but not always easy to line it up as it goes off, obviously. I gotta make sure I keep my mana drain on so I can actually cast the spell consistently. Good. Good. Ooh. Yeah, so the strength of this class is obviously its range. Ooh, Ooh got lucky there. Ooh. Okay, well there's one, so I have to do this hit this from here on. Okay, I think these, so these little projectiles that they shoot out. Oh, I have a Hyperion Ring. I can take one more shot. Okay, thank goodness. sure if I can just land these shots. Woo! Did it. Once this thing is over, that is new record. Alright, we're going to test something because the spikes should shut off as this fight's over. If I die here, it's still a new record because it's a bug that killed me. But, it's possible this bug kills me. Let's find out. Yep. That bug killed me because the game does not progress after that damage. Well, we're going to do it again because I think technically... Well, I'm just going to continue it. So I think it's that button to break that off. So whether or not that was a new record is definitely up to debate because the...
creators have stated that is a bug. It is an error in the code. It is not intentional. All right. So, in one condition, I beat my record by eight minutes. By another condition, this run's not over. Just depends who you ask, basically. Uh, well. The developers know that is an issue, so they are working on that. Alright, down is the only path. With hollow bones, having down is the only path is kind of annoying. Gotta be careful with how much you jump, because if you, yeah, with hollow bones, every little too much move um, leaves you floating in the air for way too long. All right, let's head it off, I guess. See what we have here. Not bone. Let's go for it. Let's see if I get some meat on the way to the boss. Ooh. I haven't been casting my spell at all. Well, I made it to Far Shores. Let's head up in that path. Let's do that. Okay, take care of. So. Well, if I find the boss fight right here. If I get any meats, it's gonna pay off in wonders. But this is not the path I want to be going. Well, let's head back to the far shores to just teleport to the closest. Actually, no, I'm just going left. That will actually be faster. Alright. This should have the most likelihood of going down. too late. But. Um, I mean, at one point, like, hitting dead ends just guarantees you know which direction you're not supposed to go. At the other end, it means there's, like, so few options left. So, that's a question I still need to figure out. Is this going to be a PV? Because, technically, I beat it. Technically, I did it. It all depends on how you see that boss fight. Alright, and let's grab, just in case, let's grab a Magnesis room this time. Whew. Either way, I do have the clip now. Um, I could very much just go clip it, um, show the devs, hey, just evidence. 
And Cartographer, if it's possible for me to still be my PB with only three minutes left, it's through Cartographer. Alright, so I am right there. Boss is way up there. Alright. Well, I think it's going to take me three minutes just to get there, but I know where I'm going at least. The very least, I've shown that my um, some of best segments has now is now capable of going under one minute or one hour. Sorry, one minute would be literally you'd be cheating in some form or another. All right, let me just go up, left. Whew. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, well I made it. That's the important part. Whew. There we go. All right. So now I head right. Ah. Here we are. What? I can't enter Nama. Well, if I can't enter Nama, I think I technically won. Okay. Well, I technically won. I never got the end screen, but I won. Okay. So it's still technically a PB. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's weird. All right, well, I'm gonna keep exploring this area and just kind of have fun. Um, feel free to talk if you want to say anything. Um, once I lose this life, I think I'm gonna be shutting off the stream, though. Um, thank, for, thank you for watching. I'm, I know there's already a, at least one person who's going to be watching this after um, it gets posted. Ooh. But yeah, I'm trying to keep improving this time. There's still a lot of room for improvements. And while I'm at it, um, if people want to watch me play other games, like, I have quite a few other games I'm willing to try out, both speedruns, first attempts, stuff like that. Alright. Also, if you just want to talk about... So, yeah, as far as I care, anything you want to talk about is up for grabs if you want to talk about it. Um... I mean, I guess I don't want to be, like, not safe for work topics, but, like, as long as no one's offended. Like, as long as it's, these are small groups and the people don't care. But, like, once people start caring, obviously, I'm going to cut that one out. There's nothing here? Okay. Pretty good job blowing you up. So, worth noting, Nama is untouchable after that. But, oh, I'm still in this room. I need to go down the thing. Yep. Whew. So, oof. This is the next question mark room, so two chests up there. Let's get some gold. But yeah, so just to note, that means when I defeat Estuary Nama, even if I die, it is still considered estuary defeated because it doesn't allow you to fight her again. It's treated as complete even if you don't get the mission complete screen, you know? Which is actually kind of funny because that actually means in any percent because all you're trying to do is get credit rolls in that one. It means that if you do that, you have to reset the run, I'm pretty sure. 
which is a really sad um, definitional issue. <laughs> Either way, I'm glad I got that on camera, so that people, other people would see if... Because like... Yeah. Okay. Hey Lobo! Um, anyways, I am about to actually wrap it up, I just finished my speedrun. Um, if you have anything, if you want to keep watching, I'll stick around, but like... Right now, I kind of did all I came here to do. Um, everyone who did watch, thank you for watching. Um, I'm just gonna look at some of these builds. So let's see, I had nine points in this. Um, just trying to get like some numbers through. So, Warden is 900, Ammonite is 1700. So, let's plus Warden's still better for damage output. Oh! I could wield the Warden weapon, I still don't have any trinkets. And it'd still be considered. Hmm. That's good to know. I have duplicates. Doesn't matter, I'm not going to have space for duplicates probably. Or the blood. Alright. Think with that I'm cutting it close. Um again, thank you all for watching. Um I'll be doing more speedruns another day. Um feel free to follow if you want to see more of those. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.